Seems to have been something that people, a lot of people knew about, but people were simply too scared to talk about. Everyone knows. And every person that's sitting there trying to act surprised knows very well. The whole point of this, like Cat Williams said when he sat with Shay Shay earlier this year, the whole point of this is for them in a coordinated effort to pretend like none of it is real for the public's perception. But everyone knows what's going on and it's been going on for years. It's been going on before Diddy. See, people keep looking at him like he's the Sputnik that came out of nowhere. This is someone who was designed to be what he is. We got to stop making ditties. And if we're going to do that, then we got to go back. We got to go back to even further the mentors of these people. Because Diddy was taught how to do what he does systematically. And Clyde Davis has been his greatest teacher. He got Palpatine of Star Wars and his Darth Vader. So who does Diddy once serve or was meant to under? One name comes to mind, Clive Davis. That name has been mentioned near the end of the conversation. Well, near the end of the part that um, Jaguar Wright was talking to Pierce Morgan. And they said, you know, to stop, stop this Horrible sucker repeating. Stop the mentors from the very beginning. And for what she said, this has been going on possibly for Diddy. And I believe that. I hear some wild Hollywood stories about the bar treat over like hedonistic living of the up, you know, and level. Diddy is not the first. And it's probably a long life of men, but the first thing to be, you know, be slapped on like one who's responsible for the creation of this monster. Yeah. Diddy is Frankenstein and Clive Davis is Dr. Frankenstein. So, what do you think, folks? You think that Mr. Clive Davis might be looked upon as well? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Peace.